Guys, today I'm taking a look at this cool docking station from Tobin One. Now, I've been lucky enough to review a few of these docks before. So what makes this one so special? We'll find out in just a few seconds. What's up, YouTube? Dave here with Seeing Through a Lens, and thanks for stopping by the channel. We make lifestyle videos and all things tech, so if that's your kind of thing, then please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. So guys, yes, this is the UDS-013 15 in two port docking station from Tobin One. Now, like I said, I've reviewed many multi-port adapters, which you know what, they're fine for portability, but can be a little bit untidy on the desktop. But enter this docking station from Tobin One, and it's a different story altogether. Now, before we get into it, Tobin One sent me this docking station to review in exchange for my honest opinion and guys if you follow my channel you know that whatever I review you're always going to get my honest opinion good bad or indifferent so let's get this out of the box and see what we have so guys open the box up and we have a card with some support contact details and a QR code to download the manual then we have a connecting host cable to the dock itself and you know what taking a quick look at this cable it's nice and thick and it's got double USB-C connectors at each end now I don't really know why this is the case you know why have you got two USB ports I don't know or two connectors I don't know but you know what does it give you any better stability or more power I don't know I doubt it because you know what, Thunderbolt 3 or 4 ports are capable of transferring data at 40 gigabits per second while supporting two 4K displays and it does that all on one port and you can also have a maximum of six other device peripherals or peripheral devices, whichever way you want to look at it, that can be daisy chained to each port and they all get 15 watts of power each. So. I'm not entirely sure why you kind of need to have two connections. But anyway, no worries, you've got it and it's there. Now, taking a look at the dock itself, and I have to say it is nice. It's made of a kind of space gray aluminium, so it fits well with MacBooks. It also has some rubber feet on it to stop it slipping around. And you know what, guys, port-wise, well, you know what? There's a lot of ports here. On the front, guys, you've got 3.5 mil headphone and mic port. You've also got two USB 3.0 ports and a Gen 1 USB-C port. So well covered on the front. On the back guys, you have got a micro SD card slot and an SD card slot. You've got two USB uh, A 3.0 ports. You've got two USB-C 2.0 ports. You've also got two 4K HDMI ports and you've got the two ports for your host connector cable and you've got a wired ethernet cable which can give you gigabit ethernet and lastly you've got this uh, power port it's a PD power port now although there is this PD power port sadly guys no power adapter was supplied and considering that this unit retails for around 200 pounds I feel like the inclusion of some power would have been a welcome addition. Now guys, like I said, this is a way neater solution to normal dongles. And even if you wanted to travel with this, it's really not that big and it's pretty light. So yeah, you could travel with it. Now I hooked up some devices to this dock and everything worked really well. SD card transfer speeds were fast as were other connected peripherals. I also had my camera monitor hooked up to one of the HDMI ports and there was no lag at all. Everything was really nice and really neat. And you know what? Look how neat it is compared to the other cable mess that I had with the other dongles. So this is a pretty nice solution. Now, I already mentioned that I didn't get a power adapter. Well, although inconvenient, 
For me, it's not the end of the world because I'm lucky enough to have a 300 watt charger that will comfortably power this and a whole bunch of other peripherals. But the negative that I think that needs mentioning for me is the lack of USB-C or Thunderbolt ports. This is meant to be new tech. Why are we still putting dedicated USB-A 2.0 ports in and only provisioning one USB-C port? The unit is styled to pair up with your MacBook. And you know what, guys? I get it. Us Mac users don't have any native USB-A ports on our machines. So yeah, you know what? Having some on the back of the dock is most welcome. But four USB-A 3.0 ports, you know what, is enough. And for the best part, those ports are backward compatible. So why we need two dedicated USB-A 2.0 ports, I don't know. We need more USB-C ports as this is what most modern day tech is using now. And given the fact that I'm losing out of two of my three USB-C ports on my actual computer to connect this dock, I'm getting a bit stuck for USB-C connectivity and I have to keep one of those dangly dongles, which is a bit of a shame. So Tobin one, break the mold. And in the next one, let's think about the target audience and their needs going forward. For 200 pounds, I still need to connect another dongle. And for me, that's not great. But guys, there you have it. This UDS-013 docking station from Tobin One is definitely an upgrade to all of those dingly dangly dongles. It's small, it's powerful, and it has a decent set of connectivity options. Yes, it will be good if you could hook up more USB-C devices, but for USB-A, Ethernet, and card readers, it has you well covered. Like I said, it's not cheap at around 200 pounds, but, when you put it up to similar devices from Cool Digit and Ugreen, it is pretty fairly priced. Guys, I will leave any product links and discount codes in the description. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And guys, if you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. It really does make a difference. And if you'd like to see more of my content, then please subscribe and click on that bell icon so you could be notified of new videos. Thanks to you guys for watching and thanks to Tobin One for sending me this UDS-013 docking station to review. Guys, I'm Dave with Seeing Through a Lens and I will see you the next time. Bye for now.